Welcome, dear viewer, to another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the show where I like to chronicle the idiosyncrasies, the, the intricacies and the idiocies of just one man. His name is Mark Steele, and he's often referred to as Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. At least that's how I like to think of him. But it turns out that a lot of other people on the internet, some people that I think deserve our respect, think he is a sober and important scientist who has blown the whistle on a deadly 5G weapon. One of those people is the subject of today's show. I'm talking, of course, of Sabrina Wallace, the brilliant former network operations technician who has made a, a one-woman mission to expose the, the horrible and frightening truth that human bodies are being connected to the internet against our wills. You may know Sabrina from her dazzling channel called Synergy. You can find that on the Odyssey network. Perhaps you're also a member of her Synergists community on Telegram. And if you want to join those, I'll provide links in my show notes. And Sabrina has kindly provided a refutation of some of my previous statements about Mark Steele. And so today I'd like you to listen to what she has to say. And at the end, you can decide whether I or she was right. I don't understand how this guy misconstrued what I said about the people who claimed that Vril Maidens were channeling some whatever. They were actually testing radio frequency through the human body. I didn't get off to a very good start in my video. I suggested that Sabrina's comment about Vril Maidens was a reference to an 1800s science fiction novel by Edward Butler Lytton. It turns out that Vril Maidens are actually the test subjects who have been somehow affected by radio frequency interfaces with the human body. Perhaps Sabrina is herself a Vril Maiden. I do hope she expands on this important topic, but that's not the main subject of today's refutation. We're going to talk about Mark Steele. Did I get it right about Mark? In regards to what Mark Steele said about 5G, is that we use your body on the internet and we do it in part using radio frequency. The human body, all human bodies, everybody's body is connected to the internet via radio frequency signals. It's an audacious proposal. It's the sort of thing that only a mind as insightful and brilliant as Sabrina's could detect. But how are they getting that signal into our bodies? How does it work, Sabrina? How are they getting inside of your body to watch all this electromagnetic diaphragm expansion, thorax expansion? What is this? Uh, because electromagnetic energy and electromagnetic radiation interfaces with the body. Radio well, why didn't I think of that? The way that the electromagnetic signal gets into the human body, thus affecting our bodies as nodes on the internet of bodily things, is an interface. We are all interfaces on an internet body network. Radio waves go through it. When you go to the dentist, you put on one of those things, you know, and, you know, the chest things so that you don't get fully radiated. And Mark Steele happens to be one of the people who blew the whistle about 5G because, as you can see, biological effects and mechanisms of electromagnetic radiation. And uh, this would be scholarly community encyclopedia. So, Sabrina, are you saying that Mark Steele is not a blithering idiot? He, he's not a, a nincompoop with absolutely no knowledge at all about the subject of 5G and electromagnetic radiation. Are you saying that Mark Steele was right all along? So, so far here in the Wikipedia, don't say crap about the human body. Now you're lost and you get to say that Mark Steele's a nut job, right? Yeah, Mark Steele is a nut job. That's my position. I'm so sorry. 
I come from computer networking. You're so cute. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for this opportunity. This is great. Oh dear, Sabrina seems to be very confident in her argument, doesn't she? That I am about to be beaten down like a pathetic wretch of an imbecile that I no doubt am. But did she just call me cute? <laughs> Thanks. So while this guy is going out there making fun of the guy from the UK for talking about something called electronic warfare, and I showed him a picture of a human with the radio waves going through him. And it great. Oh. So if I'm following Sabina correctly, we are all nodes on the internet because our bodies are interfaces with the radio frequency signals that contain that body network thing of which she talks, of which the Vril Maidens, of which Sabrina may be one, are part of a vast experiment to take over and control the human body. And it is Mark Steele's genius that he was able to point that out. He was the, the original scientist whose insights and prescience revealed that 5G was interacting with the human biofield an invention, a discovery so frightening, so terrifying, that all sane men and women will no doubt be vomiting with fear at the ginormity, the enormity of this revelation. Uh, we have something called a dual use system, and it's called electromagnetic warfare or electronic warfare involving the use of what? That electromagnetic spectrum or directed energy. Oh my God, it's a directed energy weapon. It was a directed energy weapon all along. Mark Steele was right. 5G is not a telecommunication system. It's not the underpinnings, the, the network that drives the current generation of mobile phone and mobile data communication systems. It was a directed energy weapon. I feel so embarrassed, and yet I, I want to embrace this, but there's so much I don't understand. I, I still don't understand. <laughs> That's because no one told you that your body is electrical. No one told you that your biofield, the human electrical body part responsible for the biochemical digestive system, you know, when you eat your lunch, it doesn't come out your posterior looking the same because you damn well know that you're an electrical being, right? So Once again, Sabrina's arguments are watertight, inescapable. The food that I eat looks completely different to the digested waste matter that emerges so unceremoniously from my posterior. As it plops into the toilet, I am forced to conclude with Sabrina's inescapable logic that I am a being of energy, of light, of electricity. And even though I may think of myself as a man of flesh, I am actually a node on the internet, controlled via radio frequency signals interfacing with my biofield. Because we're using nanotechnology and terahertz technology. So there's nothing after 5G like Mike, Mark Steele tried to tell you because it's just the, in, the involvement of metamaterials and artificial intelligence following Department of Defense Directive 3000.09 with an autonomous military watching the digital identifiers within a super fucking old on Wikipedia wireless body area network technology. 20 in a rhetorical flourish, Sabrina has utterly destroyed, utterly refuted and owned my zany notion that 5G is just a telecommunication system that will one day be replaced by 6G, which will be another telecommunication system, one maybe with a higher rate of data transfer and able to handle more concurrent connections. What a fool I have been. Because 5G is just the combination of metamaterials and artificial intelligence, under the auspices of a military directive. And therefore, there can be no future generation. 5G is, by definition, the last. Mark Steele was right again. Mark Steele's telling you the truth. Anybody making fun of him, you're a fool. 
and you don't read. So here it is from 1995, and it tells you it's a computer network. That is you. That's me? On the internet? My body is on the internet? That can only lead to the inescapable and consequent conclusion that Mark Steele was right about everything. How could I have been such an ignorant and wretched fool, such a pathetic ignoramus, to have doubted the man from Gateshead who called lampposts a deadly threat to humanity, the same person who called out that 5G was in fact an energy weapon kill grid, a directed energy weapon network sent to decimate and destroy the human population. Oh, is that all I got wrong, Sabrina? Please, just don't hold back. Mind of Sabrina, annoyed, believe me, because this is drone warfare. And those of you like this, um, a lot of people have already died and a lot more are going to because of people like you. These are weapons. So not only was I wrong about Mark Steele and Sabrina, but I also have blood on my hands because I'm enabling drone warfare, which is apparently an imminent threat if you live like Sabrina does in North America. Wow. Well, today has been truly humbling. We've learned so much about Mark Steele, such as that he isn't a blithering incompetent. He isn't a liar and a buffoon and somebody who makes up clearly wrong claims about 5G being an energy weapon. He was right. In fact, if anything, he was understating the threat because not only is 5G an energy weapon, it's a means of mind controlling us via our human body interfaces to the internet, which is achieved through the means of radio frequency signals. Wow. Well, if you want to know more about Sabrina, I suggest you follow up by subscribing to her Odyssey video channel, and I'll leave a link to that in the show notes. But you can also take part in Sabrina's community. They're called The Synergists, and, and they have all kinds of interesting channels where you can learn about the human biofield and the way that it has been connected to the internet. You can be sure that that's what I will be reading for the next week until I see you again for another episode of Mind of Steel.